Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Nova ATIS series. And before we get into the episode, I want to do a quick recap of this series so far, since I think we've made some pretty good progress. We started off with nothing obviously, and together we built our farm, we've got quite a nice little army with us, we are capable of taking out quite some uh, impressive forces, and I'm looking forward to taking this force overseas eventually, to adventure new lands, and new worlds, and whatnot. But yeah, um, so far, the main mission has been getting a small little group of men, which we've done, as well as getting some money, which I'm definitely working towards. We're definitely getting to our goal. Whatever that goal is, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't planned that far ahead, but enough money to fund us to go overseas and pay for our army and the food and whatnot. But uh, you get the point. So we've got a bit of a progress to go before we can do all those things. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm really glad you guys are enjoying this series so far. Let's get into this episode. Okay, so I decided to try out tournaments. Now, I had no idea what I was doing. This is honestly the first time me like playing around with the tournament settings. And first of all, I think it, it's really cool. I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this was honestly my first, uh, you know, I was actually thinking of not showing this, but I thought I'll chuck it in because I was honestly so confused. And I definitely want to try it again. I feel like I've got a better understanding now. Um, the main reason I wanted to try it out is because of your comments. You said it's a good way of making money. At the same time, tournaments is a good way of, get, of getting your name out there. So it helps overall, basically. So yeah, and the tournament was actually super hard. I was playing on the hard settings. I definitely did uh, drop that down to easy to start off with. I felt like it would just be a bit easier to understand. But um, like, for example, I was hitting um, some of the bots with like three, four hits, you know, and then they would turn around and hit me once and I was dead. So like... Yeah, it was pretty hard, but um, it was it was pretty fun. It was definitely uh, definitely an, an an improved tournament system, I would say. But I definitely need to do it again or a few more times to fully understand it and actually do a good job. Also, it would help having better stats. I'm sure I will have better stats by the time I do it next. And anyway, so I continued making some money. I, I fought a few groups of bandits and stuff, and then I uh, I did a uh, the thing where you sell. You can buy slaves from the ransom broker, but then you sell them at the market for more. That is not the way I like making money, but I did do it once because it's good money and I definitely want to keep the series uh, progressing. So that's why I did that. Um, it's a very cheesy way of making money. It, it doesn't feel right when doing it, but like you get a lot from it. So you're not, you're not really mad, but I think I might do it again before this season ends because I definitely want to get as much money as I can before we move on. So yeah, cool stuff and uh, progress has been made. Okay, so I'm here to sort out my inventory because I've been killing a fair few bandits in the background. Been eating some easy stuff and gonna sell some of the stuff we got. I actually got some pretty good helmets. Um, I think my companions got pretty good stuff as it is though. I'm gonna sell the stuff. Now I've also been giving my companions uh, some malls, which you can see here, which you get a lot from Mountain Bandits, which is actually quite useful. And I wish I did this a bit earlier on, actually, because I've been telling my companions, so actually, I'll probably show you before I sell the rest of the stuff. So, my party, my companions, have now got the companion role, which you can click and rename yourself. So, w when I'm in battle, I press 5, and it selects all my companions, and I can select them to use blunt weapons, which will make them use their malls. So, say we're versing about 10 looters, or 10 whatever. I'll tell, all my, I'll tell all my other infantry here to go and sit back and watch and just me and my companions will go in using our mauls. Now why are you doing this? Because you knock them unconscious, you don't kill them, meaning you can take them prisoner. Prisoners sell for money, so it's another way of making money that's pretty common. Most people should know that, but for those that didn't know, that's a cool way of doing it, so yeah. Mauls are pretty good, and they do quite a bit of damage as well actually. I did it on my very first series of this mod a couple of years ago, and it was a uh, Good way of making money, so anyway. Let's continue selling stuff. There we go. I don't think we need to keep any of this stuff anyway. Don't need to keep an eye out on anything. There we go. Water. I've also got some lances. I'm gonna I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep them for now. I was gonna say something, I forgot. Um I was gonna I'm not sure. We'll keep them for now. I might use them in the future. I'm not a big fan of lances, as some of you may know. I just it's not my preferred weapon. Everyone has their own preferred weapon when playing Mountain Blade, and Lance is not one of them. So, but maybe uh, I can switch it over once I—I I, I don't even have a horse, so 
Yeah, so that's that. So money is looking good. Oh, we actually hit the 10 grand now. Sweet. So I'm going to quickly take a trip to Zendar and check to see the boat prices and which boat we need because you can't just buy a boat. You need to buy a, um, a boat which can fit your men. So we've had about 29 to 30 troops for quite a few episodes now. So I think that's the type of ship we're going to go for. And I'm pretty sure there is a ship which can hold 30 men. Yeah, a Karak. So Karak is 5,500. So that's already more than half our bank at the moment. Also, ships cost money over time. Um, being on sea costs you 30% more due to repairs and food. These costs are also yeah. So basically, you have to pay money weekly as well as paying for your army. So I have to pay for my army. I have to pay for my boat. So this is why I'm trying to make a fair bit of money before I go off. Also, probably the most important thing is I need resources. You can colonize islands in the new world, which we shall... I'm trying to avoid this because I really want to just leave it for like a surprise. Because again, it's changed so much since I last went over there, so... Anyway, we have nothing to drink. Are you kidding me? Okay, right. Let's go get some. Let's go get some water. Oops. Oh wait. I, I may as well visit my workplace while I'm here. Whatever this does, I don't even know. It. I really don't. I don't know what this means anymore. But I can check the guild hall. I haven't been here in a while. So for those who want to see the guild master um, quickly without having to go walk around the town, you go and do it this way. Anyway, it's a good day. So I have a six percent chance. Um, may have the honor to produce my masterpiece. I don't know what that means, but sure. 6% um, chance does not sound very good, does it? So, anyway, let's go to the goods and buy some water. I didn't even realize that we need to water this. Obviously, this is, like, the only mod that... I'm not sure that if other mods do this that actually require water. So, we've got some clean water here. I might get some clean water. You know what? I might get some backup dirty water, because why not? And I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell a lance as well. Try and keep my inventory... Cool, um, I got this. I'm not sure if I showed this in the last episode. I think it was actually quite recently. But it was a gift from, from a village which I saved from some bandits. And I got plus three piety. Which is cool. Whatever that means. But sweet. So I was really interested by this crusader camp. It's actually really cool if you go up to it. Um, so you can have a meeting with a lord. You can join crusade, enlist an army, fun campaign. And if you join, you can actually like get crusader troops and armor. It's, really, it's actually really cool. And it's actually not, not too expensive. Now, that wouldn't really follow the story of this series, and that's the reason why I'm not doing it. But I definitely would like to do it, and maybe at some point in the future, maybe we'll find a reason to do it. But obviously not right now. We have bigger goals right now. But the, the problem about this is that I've been trying to get permission to cut down some forests and some uh, stone. And to do that, you have to go to which um, whoever lord... Um, Controls it, sorry. I was gonna say something else. Um, so this stone quarry is owned by this guy, but I could not find the guy anywhere. I went all over the place, I asked everyone where he was, and I think he's on the crusade. The crusade is currently up and running. It's the same for this forest down here. I was waiting for a very long time and I could not find the Lord. And I was asking the Lord, where is this guy? He says, Oh, he's he's over here somewhere. You know, all the way over here. I was like he must be on a crusade, so it's a really bad time to try and get permission to get forest and stuff. Um, I mean, to be able to cut forest down. So I might have to find a different area, or I'm just going to have to wait until they come back, or get the materials a different way. So let's see, for example, so you enter the blah 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 blah, uh, this belongs to um, that guy. So I only go into notes, I've already forgot what he's called. Something we can do with T. So you go, you go down. Let's see. Uh, to be honest, I've I've already forgotten his name. But that's normally how you do it. Was it something beginning with T? I'm not even sure. It was whoever owns this. Let's go over here. Um, I don't think actually anyone owns this at the moment because I think it just got taken over by the Rodox. It did because this was owned by the Swadians. So that's that's just annoying. Um, great. So. Never mind, but anyway, you get the point, so that's how you get that stuff, and also you need obviously a woodcutting axe or a pickaxe, which you can get from the um, from the markets. Aha! Ooh, we found a bandit hideout as well as 31. This should be good. So, I'm gonna, definitely gonna knock some out and see how many we can get as prisoners, but there's quite a lot of them. So I'm gonna shoot a fair few down, I think, first. Where are they? So they're coming from over here. So. Let me put my companions at the very front. There we go. I'll get my crossbowmen to come up next. There we go. 
um, cavalry can go up on the side and we can chase down the ones that start running away. And infantry, I don't think I'd really be using my infantry at all. They can chill at the back. So let's just tell my companions to start using blunt weapons right now. Uh, F3 again, use blunt weapons. They should all get out their mauls now. Very nice. So I'm going to use my crossbowmen to shoot a fair few down first. So we shouldn't take that many casualties with my companions. Obviously there's only four of us all together, so got to be careful. Now they should be popping up over that hill any second now. Nice and grouped up, ready for my crossbowmen. Should be very nice. I'm going to put my infantry a bit closer behind my crossbowmen. There we go. Alright. So a couple of volleys, take a fair few out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to charge my companions. Now, my companions can't die, so keep that in mind. Oh. Maybe uh, I think I've been a bit more than I can chew right now. Oh, no, oh, you don't. Okay, this is not going to plan. So, normally, I'm not really used to this many. <laughs> I'm not really used to this many at one go. Definitely messed that up, but you get the point. Um, I actually had really, I've had a lot of success doing this off record. It's just when I do record, I don't seem to do a very good job, but you get the point. I think we knocked a few out anyway, but I think all my companions are currently injured, which sucks, and, and myself, so... 10 out of 10. Terrific job. Anyway, so we take them prisoner, we've got four, so that's actually, that's actually the most we can get, so that actually what, turns out pretty well. And of course we can take the loot, is that a better maul? 36? I can give that to a companion, because they don't have the best mauls. I think you can sometimes get some really good ones, which I think the maximum is like 38 damage, so I've got almost the best one, 36, so anyway. Cool, well that's more loot, now we can... Uh, Sell at the market and ooh, uh, Axeman, sweet. A sharpshooter, more sharpshooters. Yep, so we're all currently dead. Fantastic. Ah, doing a good job. And we could always attack the hindout later on. They're they're a bit easy. You get some fairly good loot, but I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, we've already sold so much stuff here before. Oh well, no, I think it's oh no, it's the good section we we were selling stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's sell most of this stuff. I'm going to keep one of the malls and we can move on to the next group of bandits. There's a chipped mall there. There we go. Oops. I sold something I did not mean to sell. My water. Give me back my dirty water, you bastards. There we go, another 400. Not bad, not bad. Cool, right, I need to rest up now before I die again because I am hopeless. Okay, so this is a nice friendly reminder to hurry up. So, the first colony has been established by the Rodox. Now, don't worry, there's plenty of room. I'm sure if we actually go travel over here, we could probably find it, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we actually have to go and see it first. But the first colony has been established, wherever that may be, probably around... I think it actually may be over here, because I'm pretty sure the Aztec factions would be around there. Anyway, we don't want to look at that right now, because we're focusing on other stuff. So, I'm trying to find a ransom broker, of course, to sell my prisoners. I don't think I've leveled up, but I have not. And, no, we're good. So, I need to sell these so I can get some more. And I want to find some Cathars. I really want to get some Cathar armor for some reason. I've just got that, just got that little urge to get that nice big black armor. Ah, oh, for f God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Being attacked by bandits. This is why you don't go to the markets at night time. You get these bastards showing up. Oh, he brought his mate. Oh, you're kidding. That was like the perfectly in sync. As soon as I, as soon as I swung. There we go. There's all the money that we just made before gone. I love this. I love this game. Let's just wait till midnight. I mean, to morning. Ah, love it. And I bet there won't even be a ransom broker, to be honest. <laughs> I bet there won't even be a ransom broker. There's not. Fantastic. Really glad we came here. 
And uh, anyway, let's go give one of my companions. I think I think Gregor's got a pretty bad mall. I can't remember. Chipped mall. There we go. Give him. A, we'll give him the ordinary mall compared to the chipped mall. There we go. A bit better. We've got some deserters there. I can't remember what these guys look like. I'm pretty sure they're the pikemen. I think. I'm not sure. We may. We probably won't even be able to catch them. To be honest, but we'll see if we can. Probably not. There we go. More money gone. There we go. Here's an overview of the effects. Honorable plus five prestige. Thank you. Okay, come on. Let's catch up to them. Hopefully. We've got a bunch of Cathars in the area. 30 Cathars there. Oh, I'm not healing well, am I? I'm, still, I'm only on 21%. These are my companions who have gone up quick. Right, I'm going to hold it down. Hopefully we can catch them. We're definitely getting closer. There we go. Nice. Right. Let's take these guys out. So I definitely want me to use my cav because my cav will get slaughtered by their pikes. But this should be fairly easy. I definitely want to try and knock some out. I think they're worth quite a bit. They're quite high tier troops. So maybe take a couple out. Let's see. Yeah, so they shouldn't have shields because they just have pikes. And once there's a few left, I will attempt to take a few out with my companions, with, with the blunt weapons, because they will be worth a lot. So it's F3, F3. Alright, okay. So make it a bit quicker. We should kill a fair few of our crossbowmen just because they don't have shields. Hopefully, anyway. Probably won't. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> we are not hitting a thing today. What did you guys eat this morning? There we go. Right, let's charge the companions in. See if we can take any out. So far, none knocked unconscious. There we go, there's one. Nice. So, so our companions got knocked out again, but we knocked a fair few out, and hopefully get a bit of money off them. Five, right. Well, we'll release them and take all them. We could take some manhunters as well, but we don't need any more troops right now. And we got a really cool helmet. Holy shit, that looks so cool. It's tattered, but it's a lot better than our current helmet. And that is some new fashion we've got going on right now. It's been a long time since we've updated our equipment. So yeah, very happy with that so far. That was definitely worth the chase, I think. Definitely worth the chase. And now, we're going to try and chase down some Cathars, if we can. Okay, so I failed to find like a big group of, um, of the Cathars. I found like, a group of 10. And I actually like got some of their armor, but it's really bad. It's, it's a crude version, so I think the the better version obviously is a bit better than my armor. It does look really coy, cool, as you can see. I've got some gauntlets as well. I'm gonna give them to the companions. And um, oh, I'm going here because I just I was gonna go here to try and look. Completely forgot what I was saying because the birds outside would not shut up. Anyway, I was looking for a ransom broker, and I found Cedric. I'm not sure who he is. I think he's a companion. We're gonna find out. We have one spot in our army. We currently have 29. So. Let's see, yes. What is it you wish? The past time of the day with a fellow traveller, if you permit. Anyway, very well. My name is Cedric. Hello, Cedric. Very nice. I am the second son of the Count of... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Guys, I am really do apologise. I, I like don't like it myself. I wish I could read through these things. I just don't have time. Oh. I didn't even read the part where he actually cost money because I was talking. Anyway... We got a new party member. We've got Cedric. What does he do? Let's see what Cedric does. Let's see his skills. Okay, he's got two inventory management, two leadership, three weapon master. It's actually not bad. And that is about it. You know what, Cedric? There you go. You look great. Besides the shoes. The shoes don't really fit. You can't use that because you need you know, armor. Um, but that's cool. We got a... Um, Maybe I have a shield as well. Oh, look, you're kitted out already. We got Cedric, guys. We got Cedric. Now, I'm not going to put him under the companion role until his strength is at least 11, so I can equip him with a maul. Unless I can find him a weapon that does blunt... When I find him a blunt weapon that it doesn't require that amount of strength. Um, there are other blunt weapons which do that. I think that counts as a blunt weapon. But again, that's 9. Oh, you could probably wear that. But um, I think heavy hammers as well. 
Heavy hammer's actually really good. I actually might get that. I'm pretty sure that's blunt. It should be. Silver chip maul. I'll give that to a companion. Cool. So let's see if that works. That should work. I, I think. Let's see. Cedric. There we go. First, let's put him under a companion. Oh, well, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. And there we go. Have a chipped weapon. You know what? I'll keep your sword for you. That's just, It's not a bad weapon. It's not a bad weapon. But, um... There we go guys, so next episode guys, I'm going to continue taking out some Cathars, I really want to get some of their equipment, just because it looks scary, and I think it might scare some of the Aztecs when we go say hello to them. So guys, thanks for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, some progress has been made, and more has, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, it's for now.